Last September, for Charity Water's four-year anniversary, we launched the September campaign with driller Jim Hawking to bring clean water to all of the Bayaka people living in the Central African Republic. Now, on our anniversary, on September 7th, we came here to the village of Mwale to drill the first well of the campaign and broadcast our success via satellite around the world to our supporters. Now, it was going to be an amazing story. Mwale had been waiting for clean water for over 10 years, but after two failed attempts, both wells collapsed after we hit a deep sand layer and we were forced to pack up the gear and move to another village. Uh, we knew there was clean water deep underground here at Mwale. It would just be a matter of time, talent, and money to reach it. We made a promise to the people that we would be back, and this morning we're here to fulfill that promise. But this time, we've got with us a $50,000 mud pump, two top geologists, and an expert driller who have all volunteered their time. Last night, they came up with a plan, and this morning, we hope to execute. It's been a long day of waiting. Uh, we were down here at 8 o'clock this morning. Stuart and James asked to take a look at the old collapsed well. We took off the lid, dropped the meter down there, and found 50 feet of water. We talked about it and really feel like the, the geology is stabilized enough that we possibly can fix this well. So we ordered the test pump. The test pump is here. We're ready to drop it down the hole. We're going to test the yield of this well and see if it's possible that we can fix this and make it usable. Okay, so we kind of ran out of water and we're going to drop it down a little bit deeper. We'll try again. If it doesn't work, we'll probably just call it quits. We'll be down at 6 in the morning and we'll start drilling with, uh, with the mud pump. We don't give up easy. It's the end of another drilling day here at Moale and the ground is still winning. Uh, it's been a, a difficult day. Today was spent pulling up 240 feet of PVC casing. So imagine a 24-story building underground, then going back down with 240 feet of drill stem to try and open up the hole, this time using this new mud pump, uh, creating a slurry so that hopefully the sand does not cave in on the well and uh, the well can be developed, a pump can be put on. Uh, it's night, the lights have come on. Marcelin and his team are continuing to work uh, in the rain. Uh, to give the people in Mwale clean water. Uh, really, the story of the day is just determination. Jim, Marcelin, uh, the volunteers who have come out here um, will not stop until this village has clean water. This has been one of the most difficult wells uh, Jim's team has ever done in this country, um, and it's not over yet. Ten years ago, Jim Hawking made a promise to the people of Mwale. It was a promise that many here believed he wouldn't keep. He said he would help this remote village deep in the heart of the Central African jungle get access to life's most basic need, clean water. It took five failed attempts, hundreds of man hours, and thousands of dollars. But today, all of that hard work has paid off. In a few moments, clean water from 24 stories deep is going to change the lives of a thousand incredible people living in Mwale. People that deserve a chance at health and happiness as much as you or I. Now today's success is about the people of Mwale getting clean water, but it's also about what this well represents. It represents the fulfillment of a promise by a driller made 10 years ago. It represents a final victory for a drilling team who battled the earth, worked through the nights, and refused to quit. And it also stands for Charity Water's commitment to stand with our partners no matter how hard it gets. Now we work in 22 countries around the world and each country brings its own set of unique challenges. It's not always straightforward or easy. But know this, now more than ever, we are determined to bring clean and safe drinking water to every person on the planet. 
because we believe water changes everything. Yeah.